This group that gathered at the Texas Capitol Thursday morning came to Austin from several different Texas cities. If you are not here to fight, I ask you to leave right now. They all had different stories, but essentially the same question. Who do we call on the police? Who arrests the police? Who's going to stand and protect us from the police? Family members of individuals who died in different confrontations with police spoke during the rally. Some shared how they remain emotionally scarred and how they have lost faith in those who are sworn to protect. You get a cop behind you or you get a cop walking towards you, you're afraid. We don't know what to do. The rally at the Capitol was to show support for a legislative police reform package called the Texas George Floyd Act. This bill must be passed. Do not give them a reason to kill any more bodies. Protecting the sanctity of life. That's what this bill is about. Members of the House Homeland Security and Public Safety Committee spent the day listening to testimony about the legislation. This is about improving the training. We all want to be safe. Key parts of the reform package include a ban on chokeholds and no-knock warrants, a requirement to intervene when officers see another officer violate policy, prohibits arrests for non-jailable offenses, and restructures the process for using deadly force. It feels genuine, it feels different, it feels like we may actually um, be able to agree on more stuff than we, than we normally disagree on. That feeling is common ground with police organizations like CLEAT. Charlie Wilkinson told me many of the reforms, like those dealing with chokeholds and arrest policy, or changes the rank and file can support. If we don't have trust, then you can't have policing. And officers want that trust, and they, and they work hard to earn it. Wilkinson says police unions do object to the elimination of qualified immunity from civil lawsuits. He believes reformers have neglected to apply that change to those who approve the training protocols. They're doing the easy work of trying to get a headline, say we're, we're going to reform the police in Texas, and the way we're going to do it is we're going to be punitive toward a patrol officer uh, that has risk everything and gives their life, we're going to give a pass to the rich and the powerful at City Hall. All these people want, if you listen to everybody today, is they want accountability. That's it. It's not, it's not, we hate cops, it's not anti-cop, is we want cops when they mess up, just like you and I, if we did something wrong, we're going to be held accountable. That's all people want. That message of accountability was also shared by Travis Keynes, the brother of George Floyd. I'm here because I am a human being. I am not just an African American. My brother, my friend, wasn't just an African American, he was a human being. And what was done was injustice.